against us. village of Mohegans do against hordes of Hurons. The brave Mohegans are our only Sagamore and his son, Uncas. Tell the great French chief we do not need his rifle. The English and the Mohicans are friends. How can you call them friends? Was it not the English who stole the red man's land? The English who... Their war chief, Colonel Monroe, has proved himself to be the red man's friend. The red man's friend, you say. Look! This is what the English long knives did to Magua. They tied his hands and feet to logs. They tore that blanket from his back. As Colonel Monroe show his friendship for the Red Man. A chief of the Hurons, foot like a dog. I, that's what he treats you. Are you? Are you? Or even your Sagamore himself. Will you wait for the English? Leave the mark of their whip on your back? Are you men or dogs? If you are men, Come take the war path with the Hurons and the French. If you are dogs, lie down and wait for the lash of the English long knives to fall on your back. And fall at will, my friend, on any dog, like yon mangy Huron. 
This Huron speaks with a split tongue. He tells you half truth. The Englishmen are a just people. They fit the punishment to the crime. Margot was welcome in the camp of the English until he drank fire water and his tongue ran loose. He boasted that he was there to spy upon us for the French. For this, a white man would have been hung. Colonel Monroe was merciful. Let Magua is our friend. We know his words are true words. But I... I have spoken. Go. Magua will go. But when the strong arm of the French falls upon the Mohegans, let them remember that Magua tried to be their friend. My brother has made a bitter enemy of Magua. He will lie in wait for Hawkeye like a yellow panther. Magua. Well, the Hurons have been trying to ambush me for 20 years. But old Kildee has never failed me yet. Lucas, my lad, how you grown? Come. The mother of my son shall prepare a place for you. My brother's welcome warms the heart of Hawkeye. But I must not tarry. I'm on the king's business. Bearing dispatches to Colonel Monroe. My father's heart is troubled for our white friend. He holds too lightly the treachery of Magua. Will my father not send me to cover our good friend's trail? Come. We will get our weapons, my son. White brother leaves no trail for the Hurons to find.
Wow. Magua. nation is no more. Only you and I remain to dig up the hatchet. desires, Magua's medal shall be of silver. Magua's pouch shall be filled with gold. He shall be the highest chief at my council table. Chief of chiefs. Well, Lieutenant, a British officer has just been captured. Does the general wish to question him? Bring him in. Bring in the prisoner. Have you searched the prisoner for the patches? Yes, and found none. What is your name, sir? Major Duncan Hayward, 60th Royal American. What were you doing near our line? I was on my way to meet two ladies and escort them to Fort William Henry. Two ladies? Yes, the daughters of Colonel Monroe. Colonel Monroe, indeed. I am sorry to disappoint the ladies but I must hold your prisoner, Major Hayward.
Who are you? Long I should know. I am his friend. What the fuck were you doing in the French camp? Colonel Monroe, the chief of your war party, sent me to use my eyes and ears. A British spy? Good. You can be of great service to Colonel Monroe if you will help me guide his daughters to Fort William Henry. Magua owes a debt to the gray-headed chief. Magua will gladly guide the daughters of Colonel Monroe. country. There we will pick up Magua's trail. Sagamore. Why, I nearly shot you for a mangy Huron. War paint. Huron. On your trail. How many? Thick as deer at the salt lake. We saw you from the river and came to warn you. Thanks, old friend. I'll fight them if I have to, but I must press on to Fort William Henry. Water leaves no trail. Come, we have a canoe. Maragua! Hawkeye! Sorry, Major. I couldn't let you kill our Mohican friends. Friends? When they attack my guide? Guide. I a guide that would lead you straight to the scalpy knives of the Hurons. Sir, Mug is the trusted servant of my father. The daughters of Colonel Monroe and their singing teacher, David Gamut. Ah. And that explains everything. Why Magua hates Colonel Monroe with every drop of blood in his black heart. Your father had him flogged as a spy. A spy? Then we mustn't let him escape. Are you tired of life, Major? There's no use for us to follow Magua. If the two Mohicans haven't got him by now, he'll be coming after us with a swarm of bloodthirsty Hurons. dark hour, let us lift our voices in supplication. Huron, coming like wolves to the hill. Ocus, lead the way to the river. We three will bring up the rear, take the bomb off.
Hold your fire, Major. We all shoot at once, they'll rush us before we have a chance to reload. There's one thing you learn about Indians, Major. They're always war, you think they ain't. Like young varmint. Lives of many braves to drive them from behind those rocks. Half of you get into the canoes and attack them from the water side. Oh. Oh, it's nothing. Only a scratch. How long can we hold the Hurons up? No longer than our powder lad. Can you handle a canoe, Major? Why, yes. But, Uncas, get the two ladies and the Teuton master into the canoe. But, man, in a canoe, they'd be open targets for every Huron on the bank. It's either that or stay here and be scalped. Halfway across. The varmints haven't seen them yet. Now they are lost, even if they reach the shore. Somehow. The horses.
1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, the famous Scouter people, Cora Munro and her sister Alice, daughters of a British army officer, on their way to the fort. Their escort, Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, who is in love with Alice, and David Gamut, the girl's singing teacher. The party is attacked by Indians under command of Magua, a cruel Huron chief whose tribe are allies of the French. Take to the river. It's our only chance. What happened, friend? Why, we were driven over the falls by the Hurons and... Magua is grateful to his friend, Dulac, for saving the lives of these pale faces. They are friends of my red brother? 
such good friends that Magua will take them to his village, where they will be accorded such treatments as the daughters of Colonel Monroe deserve. Put them on the horses. Oh, you dare lay a hand on My white friend is more brave than wise. You cannot take her. You cannot. Tell them to free her. Do with me what you will, but send my sister back to her father. Does a wise man bargain for what is already his? If Magua had wanted the dark hair to die, could he not have slain her from the banks as she drifted above the falls? No. While you live, Magua holds the heart of your father in his grip, where he may wring it dry. You hate my father? Why? Does the dark hair see these scars? It was her father who had Magua, the chief of the Hurons, beaten like a dog. Now it is Magua's turn to strike. Why does my brother no longer wear the uniform of the French? I'm on special duty, lying in wait for a British scout named Hawkeye. My brother will not have long to wait. Hawkeye's body will soon come floating over the falls. His body? Why, is, is Hawkeye dead? Aye. He dared to oppose the will of Magua. Friends of ours were swept over the falls yonder. Have you seen aught of them? If they were not dashed to pieces on the rocks, the current would surely have drawn them under. I'd rather be flogged than face Colonel Monroe with the news of his daughter's death. Hawkeye's duty takes him to the English force. We follow Magua. To his village. Will you share my tea with me before going? It's a long trail to Fort William Henry, and uh, you're dead. Oh, they've been drenched before, but a cup of tea inside would even it up a bit. Fine. of the Lord. The wretch. A goodly hat it was, costing me seven and sixpence. Friend, I owe you my life. You owe me not, sir. But yonder villain owes me a hat. Why should he want to kill me? I don't look like one worth robbing.
They're gone. He's a spy. What's gone? My dispatches. And I'll get them back if I have to follow him straight into Montcalm's own camp. And the Mohican. They are not dead as Magua thought. Not dead? Hawkeye is following my trail. The Mohicans are bound for your village to satisfy some revenge against you. My friend has done well to bring Magua this news. Black Wolf, take five men and lay in wait for Hawkeye. Hawkeye must be warned. the first sensible you should put that thing to since we've been in the woods. Our trails run together again. The white girls and the English officer were not lost. Magua has taken them to his camp. The Frenchman is with them. If one of us can slip into the camp tonight and get powder and guns, we may find a way to help them and recover my dispatches. <laughs>
Gentleman Row. Tell him that Magua's price for the safety of his daughters is the surrender of the British fort to the French. No, Duncan. A thousand times no. We are but two lives. To save us and surrender the fort might mean the loss of an empire to our country. Dark hair has chosen. So be it. No, no. You can't do that. I'll go. I'll plead with Caravan Row to do as you say. You shall not go. Margo shall see that the daughters of Colonel Monroe are not afraid to die. Come on. Come. Cola! Alice! out his threat. Both French and English would hunt him to the earth, and he knows it full well. No longer. We can do the best we can with our uncle, with the weapons we have at hand. In 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, Cora Monroe and her sister Alice, daughters of the colonel commanding a British fort, have been captured by Magua, a cruel Indian chief. Magua hopes to earn a great reward from the French by forcing Colonel Monroe to surrender the fort as the price of his daughter's safety. Major Duncan Hayward, captain with the girls, is to carry Magua's message to the fort. Meanwhile, a French spy named Dulac 
has taken refuge in Margaret's camp to avoid being caught by the famous scout Hawkeye, whom he has treacherously attacked and robbed of dispatches that reveal the British military plan. With Hawkeye are two Mohicans, the Sagamore and his son Uncas, sole survivors of their tribe, which was massacred by Magua. They set fire to the camp with flaming arrows in the hope of rescuing the girls. may well be our salvation. Keep the others downstream. Sagamore and I'll cover your retreat. them. Our blazing wigwams make us fair targets for the long rifle. Does Magua so easily accept defeat at the hands of the pale faces? Magua knows not defeat. When they reach Fort William Henry by tomorrow's sun, Magua will be waiting for them. In the dark, where every shadow may be an ambush, more than likely they'll outrun us and meet us near the fort. Then we must hurry. It would be useless. Not haste, but Indian cunning will save us from being scalped. In the cave above Falling Trick, three brave men could hold off many Dura. Well said. You will not just lead the others there. I'll head for the fort and deliver my dispatches. And have Colonel Monroe send out a rescue party. Aye, and I'll lead it myself. The fate of Colonel Monroe's daughters is in my red brother's hand.
I must have one. We'll carry Monroe. At once. Major Duncan Hayward of the 60th Royal Americans, sir, asking immediate audience with Colonel Monroe. Major Hayward? Fetch him in at once. Major Hayward? Yes, sir. Well, speak, man. What has happened? Where are my daughters? The words do not come easily, sir. Your daughters are... Also, we were ambushed by Hurons and... And I alone escaped with my life. You dare to come to me with such news? You hadn't the courage to stay and die with them. The colonel does me a grave wrong. My horse was shot from under me in the first volley. I, I fell from a great height. When I recovered and regained the trail, all there remained was the evidence of a sight that I would rather forget. I, high up there, I spoke as a father, not as a soldier. Come in. The scout with important dispatches from General Sandwich. Make an immediate audience with the colonel. Let him have it. Under the circumstances, sir, would it not be wise to see him uh, later? Thank you, Major. Fetch the dispatches and bid the courier wait. I will relieve you of the dispatches. Did I not tell you? that I must see Colonel Monroe on matters of grave import. My orders are to fetch the dispatches. The Colonel will see you later. I can tell Colonel Monroe I must see him at once. Colonel Monroe will see you and it suits his good pleasure. So? Well, then tell him this. That I bring him news from his daughter and Major Hayward, who are hidden in a cave, awaiting his pleasure to send them aid. Your news is belated, friend. Major Hayward is inside and can speak for himself. What manner of lie is this? Am I to believe that a red-coated soldier can travel faster through the night woods than I? Believe what you will. Major Hayward arrived ahead of you. Stand aside, fools. There's some sort of treason apart. soldiers to the caves above Falling Creek and fetch Major Hayward and your daughters. What say you of my daughters? They are not killed? Well, they were alive last night. If I know the Mohicans, they're still alive. As a father, I would detain you to thank you. As a soldier, I must warn you that the fate of an empire rests in the pocket of that French spy. Those dispatches must not reach Montcalm. Montcalm air sees those dispatches. 
You can rest assured I'll be lying dead in some thicket between here and his camp. Two platoon of soldiers to patrol Falling Creek and fetch my daughters back. downstream with half my warriors. The others will go upstream with me. Soon or late, we shall find them again. Courier. Hawkeye is on my trail. I have found the horses. Think they will find us? Uncas has kept the good news for the last. In the distance, a score of English soldiers are approaching. Hawk must have won through to the fort. Long knives are coming. How many? A score. Gods of the Hurons smile this day on Magua. Gather the men who went downstream and lay an ambush for them. It is already done. Good. Take ten of my men as well, let there be no chance of escape.
year 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, Cora Monroe and her sister Alice were escorted by Major Duncan Hayward, a colonial officer who is in love with Alice, and David Gamut, their singing teacher, have been attacked by Indians and have taken refuge in a cave. The leader of the Indians is Magua, a cruel Huron chief, who hates Colonel Monroe and is bent on striking at him through his daughters. Two mortal enemies of Magua, the sole survivors of the Mohican tribe which was massacred by the Hurons, have come to the aid of the girls. Meanwhile, the Mohican's friend Hawkeye, a famous scout, has reached the fort with the news and troops have been sent to rescue the party. Important dispatches have been stolen by Dulac, a French eye, and Hawkeye is on his trail to keep the British military plans from reaching the French commander. Eagle forgets that these prisoners are Maguas. By what right are they Maguas? Magua could name many rights, but one is enough. Through these prisoners, Magua will get revenge on their father, Colonel Monroe, who cut these guards with a sharp whip. Take the trail to the camp of the French. Without arms, we cannot attack. But we follow Magua to the death. to claim the reward promised him by General Montcalm. My prisoners are the daughters of Colonel Monroe. Colonel Monroe, indeed. With them, you can force their father to turn over the British forts. How, Magua? Colonel Monroe would do anything to save his daughters from being burned at the stake by Magua. Colonel Monroe has reason to fear the vengeance of Magua. A well-planned scheme, Magua. But you forget that the French do not make war on women. 
Now go! Magua will go. But Magua will not forget. Unspeakable act of my savage ally. I can but offer my apology. I regret very much I cannot return you to your father. But as guest of France, you will be accorded all the courtesies my poor camp offers. Thank you. Halt! Advance and give the countersign. France victorious. I'm being pursued by a British scout whose dispatches I stole. There he is! Fire on him! Surrender, we fire. Are we never going to attack the British fort? We know they're about out of powder. It seems to me now is the time. But unfortunately, our powder supply is low. But isn't there a powder train due? The prisoner you desire to see is in this tent, mademoiselle. Major Hayward. Major Hayward. Carla, is that you? Come in. Duncan, I have to see you. Guys, thank heaven you're here too. The French are preparing to attack the fort. My father must be warned. I'll rest easier now, miss. Knowing you young ladies are safe from Magua. There are a wagon train of powder that is coming in tomorrow morning. If father only knew he might seize the powder and cripple the French. At the same time, he strengthens himself. By the time we got word to the fort, the powder would be in Montcalm's hands. If orders to be done, we must do it ourselves. Do it ourselves? The Mohicans. I might have known they'd follow Magua here. You're on war paint to get inside the line. Oh. 
all this ready. The horses are hidden outside the camp. Come. Best get out of that British uniform, Major. Sir, I'm positive that Hawkeye read the dispatches before he destroyed them. If that is true, we must make him talk. Impress upon him that a firing squad awaits his refusal. Wait for me! Would you leave your faithful singing teacher in the hands of the enemy? Both Hawkeye and Major Haywood have escaped, sir. Escaped? Sound the alarm. The men are past the outer guard. Send Margaret to me. General Montcalm's order. I am escorting these two ladies from the camp. Let me see your pass. Something is wrong. You'll not leave till we learn the cause. I don't believe you have a pass, you... Prisoners have escaped. Magua and his braves must find their trail and capture them. The white father turns his back on words he spoke to Magua this day. Do we now make war on women? I'm not interested in the women. The men are spies. You must bring them back, dead or alive. The Mohegans have joined them. They have taken to the brush, and darkness hides them. But Magua will find them. Lead the way, Magua. You, you red devil! By daylight, Hawkeye's trail will be hard to follow. English have laid an ambush for you. An ambush? Yes, but for our red friends here, my guide and I would have stumbled straight into it. We saw you coming and came back to warn you. Is there a way for us to detour it? None. The British need our powder and are determined to get it. Our only chance is to surprise them. How? Leave the wagons here. We shall all slip forward, surround them, and wipe them out. Agreed. Lead the way, sir. Drivers, stay by your teams and do not advance until called. The rest of you, forward on foot. It's not occurred to arouse their suspicions. hidden in the underbrush below. It's best we separate and surprise them from both sides. Don't charge until we give the signal.
is ours. Oh, Zena! The ladies must leave their mounts here and ride the wagon. So we'll all be together. We have to make a run for it. We have seen no enemy, nor have we seen our friends. What party is this so far outside of our line? With a convoy of the powder shipment. Powder shipment? But I see no wagons. We met a party who told us of a British ambuscade ahead, so we left the wagons to attack them. Were there two ladies with that party? No, there was a French soldier, a scout, and two Indians. Fools that you are, you have been tricked. They were not French, but English, and by now are well on their way with your wagon. Magua, take my stirrup. Perhaps we can overtake them. I can't ride down to them, it's too steep. Magua, cut across with your men and ambush them. If they turn back, they'll run into our trap. No need for that. They're doomed. In 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, General Montcalm, the French commander, badly in need of gunpowder, is awaiting the arrival of a wagon train. Meanwhile, the powder wagons have been captured by a daring band of adventurers. 
led by the famous Scott, who is carrying dispatches from British headquarters to Fort William Henry. On the wagon with Hawkeye are his two Mohican friends, the Sagamore and Uncas, sole survivors of their tribe, which was massacred by their enemies, the Hurons. On the other wagon are Cora Monroe and her sister Alice, daughters of the British commander at Fort William Henry, Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, who is in love with Alice, and David Gamut, the girl's singing teacher, whom the Indians will not harm because they believe he is crazy. Pursuing the wagons are French troopers, led by Dulac, a spy who is trying to steal Hawkeye's dispatches, and a war party of Hurons, headed by Magua, chief of the tribe, the deadly enemy of Hawkeye and the Mohicans. No need for that. They're doomed. never use that powder against our army. Nor will they ever know how badly we need it. Be not so sure. Hawkeye and his friends may still be alive. Why, Magua, are you a child? To believe that any human being could escape that? Magua knows Hawkeye and the Mohegan. He will believe they are dead when he has their scalps. Nonsense, you are. Magua is not concerned with what his white brother thinks. You may choose your trail. And Magua will choose his. <laughs> this is I see it. Magua's still on our trail. Yonder are the horses that broke loose. The lady is mounted. We can reach the fort before the Hurons overtake us. Uh, the trail to the fort is a difficult one for horses, with many shortcuts whereby the Hurons can get ahead and ambush us. Our only hope is to leave no trail, or a false one. Come. I have a plan. Each one of us follow in the footsteps of the one ahead, so that they will not know how many are in our party. young lady. The Hurons will follow the trail of the horses, thinking that you were on them. Your very lives depend on keeping silent. They trample a trail to cover all footprints.
Listen. now to double back to our friend. The Hurons will be long following our trail through Yarn Rock. Thank heaven, here they come at last. Get ye down quickly, we have no time to lose. Ah. Trails in the water are hard to find. We will go direct to the fort, be waiting when they arrive. In this hour of deliverance, let us sing a brave Hosanna. Save your breath, friend, for the long miles twixt us and the fort. All quiet? All quiet, sir. Not a sound. Help! Help! Who goes there, friend or foe? Friend, outpost number five, wounded. And bearing news. Advance, friend. Rouse the force. The French are upon. What, what is it? What has happened? The French, sir. They are massing for the attack. My nonsense. You simply fell in with a scouting party. Your Excellency's pardon. We heard the tramp, the feet. And the rumble of cannon wheels. Cannon? Montcalm plans a surprise attack. We must be prepared. Turn off the gas. Generous as you have made the terms of my surrender, sir, it is a cruel blow to the pride of a soldier of my years. My tribute to a brave enemy. Had your powder held out, we still might be battering away at your stronghold. Your safe return does much to lighten this day's burden of misfortune. No need delivering my dispatches now, Major. I trust you will pardon the father's concern over loved ones that he thought were lost to him. General Montcalm, may I present you to my daughters? 
I believe we have met before under rather different circumstances. Am I not correct, mademoiselle? Would it be impertinent to ask your meaning, sir? The ladies were guests at my camp not so long ago, but my poor hospitality could not hold them. Has the great white father forgotten that he called these pale faces spies and ordered Magua's men to hunt them down? Magua's memory is short, or he has forgotten. Magua never forgets. The white girls went to steal powder for this fort. And but for Magua, would have succeeded. What they did was prompted less by hatred for France than by love for their father. For which I honor them and congratulate Colonel Monroe. Uh, shall we not proceed with the signing of the terms of the surrender? With or without powder, I should not sign these articles were it not for your generous promise to protect the civilians within the fort. The signature of my Indian ally is also necessary. Nothing to fear. We'll soon rejoin your father at Port Edward. In the year 1757, 
During the war between France and England for possession of the New World, a British fort has surrendered to the French General Montcalm on condition that the occupants be given safe conduct to the nearest British settlement. The solemn treaty of surrender was signed by Magua, chief of the Hurons, the allies of France. But Magua, who hates the English, has loosed his bloodthirsty warriors upon the helpless fugitives. Caught in the red swirl of the massacre are Cora Monroe and her sister Alice, daughters of the colonel commanding the fort, against whom Magua nurses a dead. Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, who is in love with Alice, and the famous scout Hawkeye, are also engulfed in a wave of yelling savages. <laughs> The only way to save you was to wear the Huron war. The Mohegan. My white friend must flee to the woods. My father and I will join him there. I must not think of myself. I'm a soldier and my place is here. Magua has stolen the yellow hair and the dark hair has followed. They need you. Quick, help me to find them. We must move slowly, my friend. Wait for a chance to slip away unseen. by and watch the women and children slaughtered and I promise to protect them? Perhaps we can buy them all. You may try it, but if you fail, fire on them! The wagon approaches by Sumner Creek with a quarter's payment for our Indian allies. Their guard is small and they ask for additional escort. Save God's money to reward the yowling beat. Away with you! I believe we are of one mind. Are we not? you by any chance refer to the bullion wagon? Why not? An ambuscade? A short skirm. And we'll gain more than we would in a hundred years of serving King Louis. Then why do we tarry? Why? Get your horse and follow that way.
but who's with him? You'll soon find out. So, so I drove to the river, and... You must have talked. You're badly hurt. But, but I'm dying, and my, my secret mustn't die with me. I, I threw the gold in the river, just beyond Skull Rock. devil. Faithful to the end, huh? He was driving a bullion wagon. It was ambushed by renegades and the escort shot. I know. He told me. Did he say where the gold was hid? Yes, he said he threw it in the... How do I know you have a right to know where he hid it? It is not your place to do the question, but mine. After this man gave his life to guard that secret, do you think I'll betray it to the first person who asks? You have no choice. It is I who is in command here. My white friend is mistaken. It is I who command here. Come. The dark hair belongs to Magua. By what right? Magua carried the yellow hair from the fort, knowing you would follow. If you have my sister, I will go to her willingly. Fine pair you are. Let a fortune slip right through your fingers. Nothing to do but return to the camp empty-handed. What wouldn't I give to have that girl where I'd wring from her the secret of the gold? In this dark hour, might it not be well to cheer ourselves with song? Page number 45, Hose Vanna. Come, we waste time. It is a long... If Magua is wise, he'll return us to our people. Magua has never heeded the counsel of women. yet find a way to have a talk with his daughter. Take the horses to the picket line. And as for you, I have a more dangerous path. My dear Colonel, I explained that I did it all in my power. Stop the massacre. The fact remains that you did not stop it in time. Women and children that you had promised to protect were slaughtered. Among them, my own two daughters. Is there? Is there anything I can do? 
Anything? Dumac of the Mounted Couriers is outside with word concerning Colonel Monroe's daughter. Show my in at once. Do you have news of Colonel Monroe's daughters? Yes, sir. Magua has them. I saw them objected. Followed, hoping I might be able to help them. But the party was too strong for me. So I returned to report. Magua! Now I'd rather they were dead than in the hands of that fiend. Can you guide a company of soldiers to Magua's camp? Yes, sir. Lieutenant, the company of six men for special detail. The English girls are mine. Try to take them by force, and their blood will be upon your head. Try to punish me, and I shall unite all the Huron tribes against you. But, but surely you will, you will not let the threat of an ignorant savage turn you from the course of honor. If I may make a suggestion, sir. There's a way to save the young ladies without involving yourself. Hmm? Give me a dozen mounted soldiers, not in uniform. The Hurons will not suspect them of being soldiers of France. Choose such men as you may need. Use any means you like, but bring back the two ladies. We have the support of the French army to find the girl and make her talk. Why do you dally along this stream looking for Magua's trail? Is it not just as likely to lie in any other direction? Are you thinking to educate these Mohicans in the art of trailing, Major? Three miles back, the Hurons entered the stream and their trail was lost. They will come out again to dry land. When they do... Tracks of the two horses? One pair of feet. It could have belonged to no one but the Teuton master. We can travel as fast as we like. We're at least three hours behind them. Is there not a faint odor of burnt wood upon the air? Yes. Magua has made camp. From now on, we must tread cautiously. Focus. You take the lead and feel out the way for us. You and Uncle slip into the camp. Wake the girls and get them out to us if possible. We'll cover you from shelter.
1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, the armed escort of a French pay wagon has been ambushed by three French renegades. But the robbers have been foiled by the quick-witted wagon driver, who, though fatally wounded, has thrown the boxes of gold pieces into the river. Dulac discovers that the dying wagon driver confided his secret to Cora Monroe, an army officer's daughter, who, with her sister Alice, has been captured by Magua, the cruel chief of the Hurons, a powerful ally of France. The crafty Dulac persuades Montcalm, the French commander, to send troopers to rescue the girls. Meanwhile, Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, who is in love with Alice, and the famous scout Hawkeye, are also preparing to rescue the girls with the aid of Hawkeye's two friends, the Sagamore and his son Uncas. Certain we're between Magua and his village. your friends. Friends? Did the actor a friend to try and trample me under the hoofs of your horse? I did not recognize you. I came here to rescue the lady from the Hurons. How could I know you were in that camp? The world is human. Perhaps we've both been mistaken. General Montcalm regrets the action of his Indian allies. We French do not make war on women. You will be returned safely to your father. We are grateful, sir. Bring up the ladies' horses. Hawkeye! These men are enemies of France. Shoot them down! Fire! I command you! Hold your fire! These two men helped us carry out our mission. 
We may take them prisoners, but we cannot shoot them down like dogs. Your sense of honor is out of place in this savage wilderness. I know what is best. My couriers and I are not subject to your silly rules of warfare. Rene, Jack, dispatch the prison. Stop! These men are my prisoners, and I must protect them. And while you're protecting them, Magua doubtless is gathering more redskins to swoop down on us. I tell you, we dare not hamper our retreat by carrying prisoners. We need not take them with us. Leave them here, eh? <laughs> to shoot us in the back. We will drop your gun at the trail, where it skirts the rock ledge. Thank heaven the girls are on their way to safety. Aye, but it's a long and dangerous way. Let us hasten to secure our weapons. Yon party has need of a rear guard. But where are our friends, the Mohegans? Wherever Magua is, they'll not be far behind. Magua's trail is lost in the night. Magua. He's near. Listen. Magua calls many Hurons together. Father is right. Magua gathers his braves at less distance than an arrow flies. Black Fox is camped at the river with many braves. Good. Bid him to go by canoe to the fort below and let no pale face pass. We cut across the ridge to attack the pale faces from the rear. Follow the messenger who goes to Black Fox. I will warn Hawkeye. Carry Magua's message to Black Fox. Bid him ambush pale faces.
We bring a message from Margaret. The words of my brother are welcome. of this. Well, surely Mademoiselle knows why I risked my life to save you from the Hurons. You mean the secret of the hidden gold? Exactly. The gold is not yours, and I will not help you with your thievery. After you have led me to the spot where the gold is hidden, you may go anywhere you please, but not before. All right. Warning signal from Mohicans. Marwa, with many Jordans, is following close behind me. Travel swiftly across the ridge. To ambush my white brothers at the gap. Where are the white girls and the soldiers? Well, oh, they must have reached the gap by now. I doubt Margaret will overtake them before they safely through. Black Fox has drawn down the swift water with many canoes. He will drive them back to Magua. Ah, the treacherous varmints. We must strike at Magua before he springs the trap. Clearing, the Hurons are coming. Car is gone. Well, she can't be far behind. There's no time to lose. I will go for her. You may thank me for detaining you, Mademoiselle. The others have been ambushed. My sister.
In the year 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, three French renegades who tried to rob a pay wagon have captured Cora Monroe, an army officer's daughter, who knows where the gold was hidden by the dying wagon driver. Cora and her sister Alice have recently escaped from a war party of Indians, led by Magua, the cruel Huron chief, who hates the girl's father and wishes to strike at him through them. Alice's sweetheart, Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, is trying to rescue the girl, aided by Magua's mortal enemy, the Sagamore of the Mohican tribe, and by the famous scout Hawkeye, meanwhile the Sagamore's son, Uncas, the last of the Mohicans, is trying to warn the whites that the Hurons are on their trail. Run for the blockhouse and the clearing. The Hurons are coming. Cora's gone. Well, she can't be far behind. There's no time to lose. I will go for her. Thank me for detaining you, Mamselle. The others have been ambushed. My sister. Hey, Major, you play dead like a veteran. That's a trick off used by the Hurons themselves. All firing has ceased ahead of us. I fear it means the end of Colonel Monroe's daughters. Yeah, if that were the case, the woods would ring with the triumphant yells of the... Let us press forward. Aye, but with caution. The Hurons are a tricky lot.
open in heaven's name, open. Hasten or I'm lost. Where is Alice? That I do not know. You did not see her? Nay. She must have been carried off by the savages. Quick, load our guns. Here, she's bearing up the powder. Braves to take the dark hair from the log house. Magua must use the cunning of a sly fox. Bring the white girl. Yellow hair will write a message to her sister. There is no ink. <coughs> write the words that Magua speaks. In this dark hour, let us lift our voices in a prayer for deliverance. Be quiet. Come here, keep watch. But I know nothing of the art of war, sir. Do as I say. So you're worried about your sister, eh? Tell me where the gold from the pay wagon is hidden, and I will free her from the euro. How do I know you would not get the gold and then forget your promise? I swear I will save your sister. When you have saved her, I will gladly lead you to the gold. I'm tired of arguing with you, Manzel. The pale face would be wise to return to his post. from Magua. When the shadow of the oak tree touches the river, the yellow hair will die unless the dark hair comes to Magua. Oh, it is riding in blood. Fire on them. Don't let them harm her. Magua planned well. They are beyond the reach of our rifles. Let me go! Not until you tell me where the gold is here. It is in the river, just beyond Skull Rock. Wait! You don't know that she's told you the truth? You're right. I told you the truth! I swear I did! Let me go! Julek takes no chances. You'll remain. Uncle, help me. Magua is a treacherous dog. His promises are worthless. I must run that risk. I said I will suffer. Uncas would give his life for the dark hair, but he will not let her give her life away.
What avail is it to rush out and be killed for naught? When by craft you may live to free her. But there's no time to lose! Is it not strange that no more of the varmints are preparing for the torture? It ain't engine nature, naught else in mind. They'd all be dead on her. What do you make of it? It's as clear as a mountain spring. It's a trick to hold the attention of the blockhouse while the varmints attack from the other side. My son is in the blockhouse. The Jurans will not find it easy to surprise him. Meanwhile, you can show your courage, my friend. You calculate, you can scale yon cliff. I'll do so no matter what the difficulties. Steady. It is best to have a plan before you act. And remember, Miss Alice's life depends on your keeping yours. Tread cautiously, lad, for her sake.
1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, a party of whites are besieged in a block by Indians under command of Mark Huron, who is bent upon capturing Cora Monroe, daughter of a British officer whom he hates. Defending the blockhouse with Cora are David Gamut, a singing teacher, whom the Indians regard as crazy and therefore not to be harmed. Uncas, a young Mohican tribe, was massacred by Magua's order, and three French renegades who are trying to make Cora reveal the location of hidden treasure. Meanwhile, outside the blockhouse, Cora's sister Alice has been rescued from Magua's power by her sweetheart, Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal Americans, while his retreat was covered by Uncas's father, the Sagamore, and by the famous scout Hawkeye. She's only stunned. I saw a cave down in yonder ravine. Let us hurry there. Seeming to come from within the cave. Hawkeye was right. The tunnel leads to the blockhouse. Magwab gave you a chance to surrender in return for your sister's freedom. 
You refuse. And many of Magua's braves have died. You like held me prisoner in the blockhouse. I came as soon as I could. She speaks truly, O oh Chief. I saw her again and again try to... Silence, fool! If my sister is safe, you may do with me what you will. Let my braves gather here. We return to our village. yours, miss. They'll do your sister no harm till they get to their village. We'll follow and take them by surprise. Aye, but not with Miss Alice. You must get her back to the settlements first. And leave you to do all the fighting? Never mind me. Please rescue Cora. That will be easier to do, miss, after we have you out of this wilderness. Hawkeye's plan is best, Alice. Let's hurry to the river before the varmints get to their canoes. You agreed that if I gave myself up, my sister would go free. Your sister is free. I don't believe you. Magua does not lie. Stop! You will have only my dead body to take with you, unless I know my sister is unharmed. I tell you, she went with the young pale face. Yes, with your men hunting them. I will not go with you till Alice is safely on her way to my father. Find the yellow hair. Bring her to me, alive. Hot, 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 I sister. said bring her to me alive, or proof that she has returned to the settlement. Mohicans and I will travel along shore and cover your retreat until you reach the gap. The dark hair would not believe Magua. Let her see for herself. Has Magua kept his promise? Is that how Magua keeps his promise? Stop him! Make a signal fire!
Well, I never seen the like. The varmints had Miss Alice and the Major within easy reaching distance. And us with her scalps all but off her head. Magua has kept his bargain. Bargain? Yes, he promised to let the yellow hair go free if her sister would go with him. Well, we ain't promised not to get her back. Why did Magua call us back? Magua had promised that the yellow hair should go free. Did Magua promise also that the Hawkeye and the Mohegans go free? The Mohegans? It was at them we were shooting. Shall we return back to their trail? No need to hunt them. They will hunt us, and we shall be ready for them. not stop till they reach the village. It'll be a weary trip for us afoot. The canoe I came in is close by. It's safe to follow now. They're well beyond the bend. Shallow and clear as a crystal. The gold was here. We certainly couldn't miss it. Just as I thought. She lied. Mm, she lied. But if ever I get a hold of her... Fine chance you have of getting her away from Magua. is with it. There's the sister. She doesn't know where the gold is hidden. No, but I can use her to force the truth from Cora. Major Haywood will prove useful too. Take him alive if possible. Hawkeye and the Mohegans are close behind in a canoe.
Easy, till we get inside of them. Three of their canoes must have gone on ahead. Three of their canoes are missing. They may not have gone on ahead. Watch the bank closely. So we get closer. In 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, Cora Munro, the elder daughter of an English army officer, has been captured by Magua, the cruel chief of a warlike Indian tribe. Cora is sacrificing herself to save her younger sister, Alice, whom Magua has allowed to escape in return for Cora's promise that she will go with him. Major Duncan Hayward of the Royal American, who loves Alice, is escorting her downstream in a canoe while Magua's party is being trailed upstream by the famous scout Hawkeye and his two Mohican friends, the Sagamore and Uncas. Meanwhile, Alice and Hayward have been captured by three French renegades who intend to use Alice to make Cora reveal the location of hidden treasure. Watch the bank closely. They 
Mohegans and Hawkeye are no more. The scouts of Magua's enemies must hang in his wigwam. Recover the body. Spend it and bring it to the village. Would have sent his dry powder. Beyond the ridge lies Mugwa's camp. The safety of your little sweetheart depends on your going there and bringing back the information I want. For Miss Monroe's sake, I will try. That is a chance we must take, Mademoiselle. It's the only way I can get from your sister the secret of the hidden gold. Don't distress yourself, dear. Everything is going to be all right. I am ready. to enter the wigwam of Magua. To hoe his corn and cook his venison. Let there be feasting and joy when Magua's bride enters his wigwam. Let the maidens lead her away and prepare her for the ceremony. Does Magua mean to make this pale face, his bride? It needs no witch doctor to answer that. Has Magua forgotten the promises he made to Red Wing? Magua made no promises. Be gone. Is Magua wise? An unwilling bride makes a cold lodge. Fool, I bear the white girl no love. But Magua I... said... She goes into my wigwam, but only to be my slave. Her father had Magua beaten like a dog. And for every blow that left its mark on Magua's back, the daughter of Colonel Monroe shall pay. It is well spoken. Magua is a great chief. Prepare for the ceremony. Focus. You 
You stay here and watch. We'll try and find a way in. Let the pot simmer. I go to gather the sacred herbs. Redwing to dress me. Redwing loves Magua. Then Redwing will help me to escape, so she may have Magua for her own. The pale face does not love Magua? Oh no, please help me. The camp is guarded. The pale face could not escape. I have a plan. All I need is a knife. Quickly, before it's too late. now, lest suspicion fall on Redwood. Fool that I am! You mean to kill Magua! No, I'm not going to kill Magua. Dark hair. Uncle. We followed your trail. My father and Hawkeye are waiting to help you escape. Escape? Yes, in this bear skin. Soon you will be with your sister and Major Hayward. Yonder is Mogwa's camp. I will wait here. Remember, my men are holding the girl you love. quickly. Any moment, Magua might come. But what will become of you? The Hurons will find me, but when I go to the happy hunting grounds, I hope to take Magua with me as my slave forever. No, no, I won't let you sacrifice yourself for me. I am the last of the Mohegans. My tribe dies with me. A few days more or less does not matter. No, no, I tell you. <laughs> What happened, Duncan? Where is Al? We were captured, and she is being held prisoner by... So! Magua lied to me. Sent men to capture my sister, whom he had sworn to protect. No. You wrong the Huron chief. It was not his men that attacked us. It was Dulac. Dulac? Yes. But I don't understand. Why should Dulac attack you and Alice? Because he didn't find the gold. He thinks you lied to him. But I told him the truth. If the gold isn't there, somebody must have taken it. 
Unless Dulac gets what he wants, Alice will die. Do you hear that, Magua? My sister, whom you swore to keep safe, is going to be killed. Will a great chief of the Hurons keep his word, or will he let himself be put to shame by this dog, Dulac? Magua will send his braves to rescue the yellow hair. Stop. A first shot fired would mean her death. Have no fear. Not a leaf will stir as my braves creep through the forest to take the Frenchman's scalps. But Magua! It's our only hope of saving Alice. Let six of my braves creep out of the camp unseen to rescue the yellow hair. We will sing Northampton. I will give you the pitch again. Oh. Now all follow me. One, two, three. I want to be an angel. Who has done this to my red brother? Horican! I want to be an angel, an angel good and true. Uh, it is I, Uncas. Tell the dark hair to go back to the wigwam. There is no time to lose. alive. That death comes slowly to the last of the Mohicans. Wedding ceremony? A fire? No, no, not that. Have no fear for me, dark hair. We Mohegans know how to die. Let us test this brave Mohegan's courage. To the fire with him! Mother, please! <laughs> Wait, Sagamore. We haven't a chance. They're 20 to 1 against us. He is my son. Wait. I have a better plan.
My brother's words are wise. In 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, Cora Munro, the elder daughter of an English army officer, had been captured by Magua, the cruel chief of a warlike tribe. Cora is sacrificing herself to save her younger sister, Alice, who is being held as a hostage by two French renegades, while their leader, Dulac, has gone to the outskirts of Magua's village, awaiting the return of Major Duncan Hayward. Hayward has gone into the camp to warn Cora that Alice will suffer unless her sister reveals the location of hidden treasure. The Sagamore and Hawkeye are also lurking in the woods, hoping to rescue Cora, unaware that Uncas has ventured into the village and has been captured. Meanwhile, at Fort Edward, Colonel Monroe, worried about his daughter's absence, has ordered the troops out in search of them. <laughs> Only a Do we not need a fire for our wedding ceremony? A fire? No, no, not that. Have no fear for me, dark hair. We Mohegans know how to die. Let us test this brave Mohegan's courage. To the fire with him! Mother, please! <laughs> Wait, Sagamore. We haven't a chance. They're 20 to 1 against us. He is my son. Wait. I have a better plan. My brother's words are wise. of the Mohicans. Magua, I have come for my son. And how does the Sagamore propose to free him? Does Magua think that I come unprepared? 
Hidden in the woods is my brother, Hawkeye, with his long rifle trained upon Magua's heart. Magua does not fear the long rifle. Does Magua wish to test the skill of the long rifle? Hawkeye has my rifle as well. Magua, I have come for my son. Drop that rifle quick. Now march, my sir. So, the long rifle comes to feed the fire at Magua's wedding. It would have been Magua's funeral had I not arrived in time. How can Magua repent? Pay his brother. I desire to speak to the dark hair alone. Oh, I promise not to try to help her escape. Magua trusts his white brother. Will Mademoiselle step aside with me? Strike, Huron. You'll never have a better chance. I'm unarmed. Or would Magua rather give Hawkeye a weapon and see which is the better man? Oh, Magua's a great chief. He has many scalps of women and children and unarmed men. Quick death is too easy. The long rifle and the sagamore shall make sport for Magua before they die. Bind them to the stake! But I tell you, it was the truth. If the gold isn't there, somebody has taken it. Enough of your lies. I warn you, my men will show your sister no mercy. Your men won't harm my sister. By now, Magua's men have killed them. Magua's men? Yes, they left here half an hour ago. You're lying. This is some kind of a trick. You'll find out what kind of a trick it is when they return with Alice. Surely my brother's not leaving. The place of honor at Magua's wedding feast is waiting for him. Down for your life and help me reload.
Shots came from over there, sir. Indians. God grant it be not my poor girls they're attacking. I'll bring up the men. There, there, my daughter. You're safe now. Well, where's Cora? Wasn't she with you? Magua's got her. I know he's... Magua? Where? In his camp. I know he's going to... We've finished off the Indian, sir. But we haven't finished our work, Captain. My other daughter's in Magua's hands, and we must rescue her. Yes, sir. I'll give the order at once. is a fiend designed to break her spirit first. See, the Mohegan cringes. His blood turns to water. Loud mouth to boast. Long legs to run away. Such are the Huron dogs. Well said, Uncle. If we mock them enough, they may kill us quickly. It's better than slow just by fire. These Hurons paint their faces so their enemies won't mistake them for squaws. The Mohegans laugh at what would send the Huron dogs wailing through the woods. Let us see if the Mohegans laugh at fire. but makes no sound. Where is the tomahawk? Where are the enemy that threw it? Magic. The gods have struck him down. Here is work for the medicine man. Aye, let the medicine man talk to the gods. And he both Spirit hath done this. I go to consult the God. The pale face, feed him. Pale face was Magua's guest. He has slain Magua's warriors. The pale face must die. He didn't kill him. He was with me all the time. 
pale face shall have a chance for his life. Let him run the gauntlet of our knives and tomahawks. See, he fleet footed as the deer. He cannot escape my stroke. <laughs> Bring all the wood you want, Huron. Yes, friend Hawkeye. Shooting master. Hush, friend. Your long rifle is hidden in yon bundle of sticks with another for the Sagamore. Well done. Make haste. Cut us loose. They save Haywood Jet. Run, pale face. Make sport for Magua. <laughs> Farewell, Cora. Dear yeah, Alice, that I loved her. English long knives are coming to attack us. Storm! Defend the cap! Quick, Gamma! Cut us loose! Run, friend Gamma! Save yourself! Enemies shall not escape, even though the soldiers come. She is with a couple of men to guard her. I'll go to her at once. Uh, we'll soon be back. Here, Haywood, here's a pistol for you. Carla! Here I am! Magua will keep his side of the bargain. If the dark hair will go with him, he will spare her sister. All right, Magua. I will go. The yellow hair must come with us. So long as you do my bidding, she is safe. We take the horses.
No use, Sagamore. It looks like we fought our last fight. In 1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, English soldiers are advancing on an Indian village where Cora Monroe, the daughter of the British commander, has been held captive by Magua, the cruel Huron chief, who hates her father and wishes to strike at him through her. But Cora has just escaped with the aid of Major Duncan Hayward, sweetheart of her younger sister Alice, and they are fleeing through the woods with Magua on their trail. They are being followed by Dulac, a French renegade, who is bent on forcing Cora to reveal the location of hidden treasure. Meanwhile, unknown to Cora, her sister Alice, for whose sake she sacrificed herself to Magua, is safe with her father and the British troops. And in the Huron village, three friends of Cora are bound to the stake, with blazing firewood piled around them. The famous scout Hawkeye and his two Mohican comrades, the Sagamore and Uncas. Magua will keep his side of the bargain. If the dark hair will go with him, he will spare our sisters. All right, Magua. I will go. The yellow hair must come with us. So long as you do my bidding, she is safe. We take the horses. No use, Sagamore. It looks like we fought our last fight. and the Mohegan. Come on, we've got to save them. Hold your fire, Colonel. They may rush us before we can reload. 
Keep low, Major. You're a fair mark for those varmints. We'll trick them into emptying their guns, and I'll make a dash for it. Let me have your hat. you were dead. Uh, the bear skull saved me from the tomahawk. Lie still. Don't juggle my elbow. You're spoiling my aim. Where's Miss Cora? She's safe with her sister in the care of two armed guards. Safe? With Magua on a trail and only two armed guards? Magua! is the last of the varmints. Lead the way to the girls, Major. Why, your daughters are gone. Oh, my poor girls. Horses. We can never follow them on foot. Here be two. We can outrun the deer. And I myself am no mean tracker. I'm going with you. You couldn't keep up with us. Follow with the troops. Magua dies, one of these girls dies with him. Magua and the yellow hair will ride. The dark hair goes afoot. Margo must go through the pass on account of the horses. We can save time by striking over the ridge. No, let me go. I must save Alice. I was wrong when I said you couldn't match my stride, Major. You travel a higher road and a nobler gait than Hawkeye ever tried. where you died. Alice, take the gun, and if he makes a false move, shoot. Now, Mugwa, you may rise. Shot came from over there. Drop the rifle and knife, dark hair. 
Or your sister dies. Go quickly, Alice. Go to Duncan. Safe, Major. We follow Magua. He has a chance to reload. Oh, I can go no farther. The dark air has played our last trick on Magua. If she is wise, she will make no more trouble. The varmint stays too close to her. We dare not shoot now. Going with you another step. I'd rather die. One step more and the dark hair dies. None but a bloodthirsty Huron would be guilty of such a deed. Her Magua has the upper hand. What are his terms? That Magua shall go free and take the dark hair with him. Never, oh never. Rather would I die now and submit to a shameful turn. Well said, brave girl. Magua, the choice is yours. Die now, or save the maiden and go free. Magua accepts the terms. Help me to pull the dark hair up. You two lend a hand to pull the maiden up. I'll keep the Huron covered. It is I, Julak.
Lucas. You are the last of the Mohicans. 